So this is a short tutorial on how to create outlines and um, format outlines in LibreOffice 4. Let's say you've got a, a list of items and you want to outline them or bullet them. There are a couple of really nice options for doing so in LibreOffice 4. Uh, I've created some just nonsense ones here and here's my title obviously we're doing outlines but I'm just going to outline these items. If all I want to do is bullet them I can simply click on this little option right here and that'll turn my bullets on or off. I can also do it by right clicking the content and going down to bullets and numbering right, and just choosing to do bullets and you have several different types of bullets that you can change. right? Um, so if I wanted to do that I can just turn my bullets on and if you decide later you don't want them you can turn your bullets right back off. Alternatively, if you wanted to do an outline that's numbering, right? you can do the same thing. Just turn your numbering on or off, or you can right click and do numbering, and I'll show you some more advanced features in just a second. So let's say I want to number it. right? You'll notice by default, when you do turn on numbering, you get this additional toolbar down here, which is your numbering toolbar, okay? uh, which you can move and change around and different things like that. It gives you some nice features so you can actually change uh, different things here. But the one that I want to show you, which is really kind of the most important, is that you can modify what these look like. So let's say that this is an outline. And to make this a slightly more complicated outline, um, if you want to move in a level, just go to the first outline and hit Tab, and you'll see that it changes. So let's say that these are actual subsets of those. Right now, you've got one and then a one, and that's probably not the best way to do your outline. It might be nicer if, say, this was a letter instead of a number. So if you wanted to change that, you can actually do that. Select everything that you're outlining. You can either do it here, or you can simply right-click and go to Bullets and Numbering. And what you'll see here is we want to move over to the Outline tab. This gives you a variety of options for the different kinds of outlines that you could create. So let's say you wanted to do something like this. If you just select on it, it's going to change it automatically. So that's an option. Um, there are other things that you can do in here which are also kind of nice. So if you actually go to Options or Position, you can customize exactly what you want at every single level in here. Okay. So for now, let me just go back to the outline. I'm going to click on this one, hit OK, and you'll see that it automatically changed. Right, so this is now uh, numbers, letters, and if we keep going down, so if I add a new line, it's going to add a B and so forth. Right, so this is just nonsense text. That's fine. But if you say wanted to customize this to make it look exactly how you want, you can also do that from that same dialog, just right here, your bullets and numbering. This is done through the options. So right now, our highest level, which would be level one is just these alphanumeric numbers, right? But let's say for two, right now we've got these letters, maybe before those, I actually want another parentheses. So now, instead of just being the one, it's going to have two, and there's a space there, so I'm gonna delete that. So I'm gonna change that so there's a parentheses before and after that, and then I hit OK and watch what happens. So it's now customized. So if you want to do a very customized outline format in here, you can do that. LibreOffice has that functionality built right in, and you can customize to your heart's content.